Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're back in Reykjavik and I have my mum here, Gran Rosa, and we're going to take you along on an exciting vlog. Today we have been asked to come along and see the new exhibition at Pertlan, which is a planetarium of the Northern Lights, I think lava and volcanic information um, and there's also a glacier tunnel inside so we'll find out more when we go inside and we're going to take you along with us We've just come into Perthland now and we've come down to the basement where there's a photography exhibition on and there's also this great wall which helps you kind of just you know get a bit more information or share your ideas on um, saving the world, reducing plastic, being more aware of recycling and reusing things and it's basically giving you ideas on what Perthland does and then you can also write on a disc here um, ideas on how you can reuse, recycle, reduce the use of plastic and just be a bit more aware of the environment especially in such a beautiful country like Iceland where you've got so much tourism it's so important to be educated on this and be aware of things so we're going to have a little look through the exhibition the photography exhibition now and look at who is it is Ragnar Sigurdsson um, his photography of volcanic explosions and then we're going to head up to the planetarium We just did the planetarium show and it was incredible. There's some amazing footage of the Aurora and Aurora talks to you and explains what she is and how she happens and how she dances um, and kind of a bit of science behind it. But there's some really good illustrations so it helps you understand um, and the beautiful music behind it all as well. So it's really nice you're in this kind of theatre space where you lie back and you're able to look up at the planetarium and see all of the footage. So this room talks about the different types of geothermal activity and there's also a video of the geyser explosions and some amazing footage. This is quite mind-boggling to try and get your head around but 64 million years ago this is what earth looked like <laughs> and this is where the continental plate is so the tectonic plate at the edge would be underneath the ocean floor here and then 54 million years ago this is the, the divide so it's starting and then over time it eventually pushes the landmass of Iceland up and creates it 24 million years ago so this is 10 million years ago and then eight to nine million years ago, you can see Iceland starting to form. Uh-oh, <laughs> don't go too close, mom. <laughs> so we've been learning about all the animals that don't survive in Iceland, including this one. Here's a map of Iceland and look how many polar bear spottings there are. This is, I think, kind of where Ingmar's from. Not entirely sure, but I should know that. So the blue one was spotted 10 years ago. Thank you very much. Into the fridge we go. So this is the artificial ice cave that they've got that you can wander around and yeah, just enjoy being inside the ice. Let's go for a little wander through the tunnel. This is so, so cool. Like literally cold, but <laughs> it looks amazing. Mia will love this when she's growing up. This is brilliant. It's like being a little kid. Whoa. <laughs> you know what, for it, mum? <laughs> <laughs> Learning palette. <laughs> there we go. Yay! But it's pretty big actually. It is. 
Wow. So authentic that feeling. Ice formation is amazing. Yeah. Look at this inside here. It's very authentic. I'm freezing. <laughs> I don't know how big it is, but there's lots of tunnels that you can go off and wander around. Oh, that looks amazing. Look at this ice formation here. So spooky. I'm one of the, oh my goodness, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> Sit on the fur to keep your bum warm. <laughs> Time for a hot cup of tea? <laughs> I think so. Oh, hot chocolate, yeah. Right, it's taking us up a level. So we're now gonna learn about some glaciers. We're gonna try and take mum on a glacier hike in the next couple of days. And there's one at Solheim Yokel down south where you can walk down the edge of the uh, glacier lagoon and go onto the glacier and then do some treks up to the different crevasses. So that's gonna be amazing. So this shows you over time what the glacier looks like and how much it's potentially gonna melt. This is really scary. exhibition now there was quite a bit of it that I wasn't allowed to film or take pictures so I kind of tried to um, just capture what I could and explain the planetarium bit for you if you are only coming to Reykjavik this is definitely an experience to go to because you get to actually see the aurora in case it's too stormy and you don't see it it's too cloudy um, but the ice cave is really really cool to see but yeah there's loads of information on kind of the geographic history of Iceland and the animals that have been here and survived or haven't survived or the Vikings have eaten them all. But yeah, if you're coming to Reykjavik, I highly, highly recommend hopping in for a couple of hours. There's a lot of information in there. We spent just over two hours going around it um, and they recommend three hours. So there's lots to read, lots to see, lots for kids, um, lots to watch and yeah really interesting. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll try and do some more of these kind of videos soon so that you can see some more stuff to do and see when you're coming to Reykjavik or if you live here and want to do local stuff. So make sure to subscribe and thumbs up this video and I'll see you in another one soon.